Hamburg, the largest city in Germany after the capital of Berlin, lies at the head of the long funnel-shaped estuary of the river Elbe. Its location makes it an important link between the sea and Germany's network of inland waterways and numerous islands. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 rated attractions and things to do in Hamburg. And just wait until you see the number 2 that we're going to be showing in this video, something you would never even have thought of, so make sure you watch till the end. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome travel guides and make sure to hit the notification bell so that you know when we publish a new video. So now, let's cut to the chase. At 10. Museum of Art and Design Hamburg's Museum of Art and Design, located handily near the train station, ranks alongside the Bavarian National Museum in Munich as one of the country's most comprehensive displays of German, European and Asian applied art. Founded in 1874 and modelled after London's Victoria and Albert Museum, it's particularly well known for its displays of china, furniture and silver from northern Germany. Other collections include applied art from East Asia and a collection of works by Oskar Kokoschka. Also of interest is a large collection of keyboard instruments as well as a fine display of porcelain. English language guided tours are available and a restaurant and bookshop are located on the premises. The Hamburg Museum will also be of interest to museum goers. Dating back to the 1830s, the museum is home to a large collection of artifacts that, together with their accompanying displays and information, offer a detailed look at life in the city over the centuries. At 9. Explore the Alster Lakes the focal points of Hamburg's inner city area are the Inner Alster, or Binnen Alster, and Outer Alster, Außen Alster, two artificial lakes connected to the rivers Alster and the Elbe. It's here you'll find Hamburg's most picturesque city squares and historic avenues, as well as its famous pedestrian areas, the Passagens. The best routes take in the elegant Jungfernstieg, with its cafes and landing stages used by tour boats, and the Ballindam, with the city's largest shopping center. The lakes are also popular for sailing and kayaking in summer and skating in winter and are lined by many beautiful parks and gardens. The area is also popular among cyclists. Also popular is the Pusseldorf area with its galleries, boutiques and cafes along with the canals or fleets which link the lakes with the Elbe. If you're visiting in late summer, be sure to attend the annual Alsterwegnunen, a street fair held around the lakes with great entertainment including numerous concerts. Next up at 8, explore ships of the past at the International Maritime Museum. The International Maritime Museum is a great place to discover more about Hamburg's rich maritime history and all things sea-related. Housed in the city's oldest warehouse, a massive red brick heritage building in the Hafen city area, the museum's fascinating exhibits cover more than 3,000 years of human connection to water. The oldest artifact displayed is a dugout boat hollowed out of a tree trunk thousands of years ago that was recovered from the Elbe. Models show how shipping has progressed from Phoenician galleys to Viking longships to the caravels of the Golden Age of Discovery. An entire floor, there are ten all told, is devoted to the latest in marine research with films taken by diving robots and recordings of undersea sounds. Another gallery is filled with maritime art. The newest addition is a superb ship simulator which allows you to try your hand steering a container ship. A variety of tours and workshops are available and there is a great little bistro here called aptly Catch of the Day. Next up at 7, board the historic tall ships, Rickma Rickmas and Cap San Diego. Birthed along the river at Langdungsbrücken, Rickmer Rickmers is a three-masted tall ship with a long and colourful history. Built in 1896, the ship returned to Hamburg in 1983 and after four years of restoration is now a museum focused on the role of the merchant marine in the 19th and early 20th centuries. There's even a restaurant on board. The MS Cap San Diego, a 1960s cargo ship, is another merchant marine ship museum with visitor access to the entire vessel, from the bridge to the engine rooms. Fun overnight stays are also available. A different view of the Cold War is available in the former Soviet submarine B-515, now open as a museum and docked at St. Pauli Fishmarkt 10. 
For those interested in maritime-themed art, a visit to the Altonea Museum is well worthwhile and features numerous important paintings, sculptures and cultural artefacts related to shipping. And now at 6, St. Michael's Church. The most famous of Hamburg's many churches, St. Michael's was built in the Baroque style between 1750 and 1762 and is one of the city's most important landmarks. One of the top things to do when visiting this Catholic church is to ascend its 132-metre-high tower, known locally as Michel. Accessible by stairs and an elevator, the tower's viewing platforms offer excellent panoramic views over the city and port, a particular treat during their regular extended evening openings. Also, be sure to look out for the stunning bronze statue of Archangel Michael killing the devil, a fascinating piece of artwork that can be seen over the entrance. Also of note is the church's crypt, the final resting place of some 2,425 people and one of the city's most interesting concert venues. In a courtyard to the east of the church are the Kramer and Svonungen. These dwellings were originally built to house the widows of members of the local shopkeepers guild. There's also a good museum here. And now at five, visit the Hamburger Rathaus, City Hall and Montkebergstrasse. In the centre of Hamburg's Rathausmarkt stands the majestic City Hall, or Rathaus. This large, elaborately decorated neo-Renaissance building adjacent to the Stock Exchange was completed in 1897 and consists of 647 rooms, many open to the public for the city's annual Long Night of Museums event. Notable features include the spectacular painted ceiling in the Kaisersaal, which depicts the importance of German merchant shipping. Guided tours are available, as are opportunities to observe the local government in action. From the Rathaus, the wide Munkenbergstrasse, Hamburg's principal shopping and business district, leads past 14th century St. Peter's Church, a cathedral and fine example of brick Hansa architecture, notable for its 133-metre bell tower. A column in the south part of the church bears a painting called Christmas 1813, so I guess it's a Christmas scene then, commemorating citizens who were locked in the church that year for refusal to provide food to Napoleon's troops. Oh, I see. Continue on Munkenbergstrasse all the way to the central station and the Schauspielhaus Theatre. And now at four, get your art fix at Hamburger Kunsthalle. Occupying three separate but connected buildings on the Glockengieserwall, Hamburger Kunsthalle, literally translated as a Hamburg art hall, is one of Germany's top art galleries. Highlights include numerous altarpieces, works by local artists of the 14th century and Dutch masters of the 16th and 17th centuries. Also of note are its fine collections of 19th century German and French paintings, plus substantial modern and contemporary art collections. Tours and fun programs for children are available. Another notable art collection is housed at the Dichtorhallen, one of the largest galleries of contemporary art and photography in Europe. And now at number three, see a concert at Elbphilharmonie. Known locally as Elfi, the imposing Elbphilharmonie Hall is the crown jewel of the revitalized port of Hamburg. Located at the point of the Grasbrook Peninsula, this new building has become the city's major landmark and is considered one of the largest and most acoustically pleasing concert halls in the world. Opening to great fanfare in 2017, its base consists of a 1960s-era six-storey tall former cocoa, tea and tobacco warehouse built of red brick. Above this rises an additional 20 storeys of curved, shining glass. The largest of its three concert halls seats 2,150 and features 10,000 plates specially designed to tune sound waves. The building is also home to a major hotel, residential apartments, restaurants and other features, including parking. A publicly accessible observation platform, the Elbphilharmonie Plaza, provides splendid views of the harbour and the city. Classical music fans should also plan on an evening at the Hamburg State Opera. This state-of-the-art facility is much admired for its rich programme of opera and its excellent acoustics. And now at two, Miniature Wonderland. Although billed as the world's largest model railway, Hamburg's Miniature Wonderland is really much more than simply a toy train layout. 
This is definitely one of the best places to visit in the city's historic Speicherstadt warehouse district. It's the world's largest model railway, boasting more than 15,400 meters of track and 1,040 trains. So expect to spend plenty of time here, especially if you're traveling with kids. Built on a truly massive scale, the attraction covers an impressive 2,300 square meters. Highlights include areas dedicated to the USA, Scandinavia and Germany, as well as an airport with planes that actually take off, plus some 100,000 vehicles that actually move, all of it illuminated by more than 500,000 lights and containing some 400,000 tiny and very unique human-like figures. As this is one of the most visited attractions in Germany, you can avoid a long wait by reserving your ticket online. Fun behind-the-scenes guided tours are available and are highly recommended. Dining and snacks are available on site, including a restaurant for the kids. And finally, at number one, take the pedestrian trail to the port of Hamburg and Speicherstadt. The port of Hamburg, the Hamburger Hafen, also known as Hafen City, encompasses 100 square kilometers of tidal harbor and is known as the gateway to Germany. It's also where you'll find many of the city's most visited tourist attractions and on summer evenings and weekends it's full of local residents relaxing. A lovely pedestrian trail takes in the old 19th century warehouse district, the Speicherstadt, with its continuous lines of tall brick buildings once used to store tobacco, coffee, dried fruit and spices. Built up from 1883 to 1927, it's reputedly the world's largest such warehouse district and was in 2015 designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Another landmark of the port of Hamburg is the Kohlbrandbrücke, a 3.9 km bridge that spans the harbour. The newest and most spectacular addition to the waterfront area though is the Elbphilharmonie, the city's most important cultural venue. The adjacent tradition Schiffhalen Sandtorhafen Harbour lines the peninsula and is a great place to see vintage tall ships at their docks. If you've got time, a good way to explore the port of Hamburg is by boat, with numerous tours departing from Landungsbrücken. And there you have the top 10 rated attractions and things to do in Hamburg. Did you like what you saw? Let us know in the comments down below. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fantastic travel guides. Auf Wiedersehen and see you next time.